All right, everyone, so continuing my work on my stomp grate. This is the rear back plate, and I modeled this using Fusion 360, which is free to hobbyists. Um, so all these little teeth here are going to be connected to the, which bar, you know, the bars of my stomp grate. So they're gonna get welded in every other one. Um, and then it should, at the very end, I'm gonna grind these to match the slope of my intake. So it should be pretty clean. And I thought it'd be cool to have these little cutouts just first add a little style and also shave a little bit of weight and just to like look cool. And then we have two mount holes. One would be for the solid bar, that's the stomper. And one's an extra one in case I decide to use the other hole for the, you know, if it fits better um, for the solid bar. Or we could run one for the spring and then one for the bar. It just, I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it, but I figured, hey, what the heck, might as well add two. So anyway, that's kind of the plate I came up with. What we're gonna end up doing is recessing uh, the aluminum one inch by two inch bars, the 60, 61 bars I have on the either side of my, um, my intake. Um, so that will sit all nice and flush. And my buddy Jason has a CNC plasma table. And we're gonna cut this thing out tomorrow morning after I get off work. I work all night, I'm gonna get off, drive over to his house, and then he's gonna chop this thing for me. So. Yeah, stay tuned. We'll see how that thing turns out. And he's been, you know, super nice to cut this thing out for me. And then um, he's going to do these bends for me too. You guys saw him in my video about how to set up remote steering on your outboard. He's the dude that welded my steering tube for me. So anyway, he's a good friend to have. He's got all sorts of fabrication tools. And, um, you know, he's very supportive of projects like this. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, here's the other two pieces. Um, so this is gonna be on the other side of the stomp grate. This thing is gonna hold the bar that basically all of our bars are hinged on. And I know it looks like it's longer, but it's not. Um, essentially, it's gonna get welded a couple different pieces on the bottom. It will hold the bar, and then each bar is gonna be individually set in these grooves. This is gonna be cut and um, blended in so that it's gonna match the slope of our uh, intake and then yeah all the bars when you kick it it should move up and down in these little slots well just got off work a little bit ago just leaving work now I'm not even out of our parking lot yet and uh, heading over to my buddy's house and we're gonna get this thing chopped out so probably the next cut scene you see will be uh, at my friend Jason's house so and here we go Still gotta machine these down so this all sits flush, but check it out. Not bad.